Welcome back once again. In this part, we will retype our income data from Firebase database and we will set this data to our recycler view. So open income fragment and change this to view and create object of view my view and return this my view. Now in here we need to add our Firebase and recycler view. So we can simply comment out here Firebase database and add private Firebase auth m auth private database reference is going to be m income database and private and we need to add recycler view so private recycler view is going to be recycler view and in here we need to add m auth firebase auth dot get instance now firebase user and this user is for create unique user so m user is going to be m auth dot get current user and string uid m user dot get uid then this way we will get our unique user id key and inside this unique user id key we will store our data so now m income database is equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and make sure that we added same name so copy this income database and dot child is going to be our uid so now i think all done and now we need to add our recycler view so recycler view is equal to find view by id my, my view dot find view by id r dot id dot recycler id income and add a linear layout manager and it's going to be layout manager is equal to new linear layout manager get activity and now this layout manager so layout manager dot set reverse layout true layout manager dot set stack from int true and recycler view dot set has fixed size true and recycler view dot set layout manager is going to be layout manager so we set our recycler view and now we need to open our own start method So open on a start method and now we need to create a class. So public static class and we can call it my view holder extends recycler view dot view holder. And now we need to create object, create a constructor of this class. And now again we need to add our view. So view is going to be m view. So view is going to be m view and this m view is equal to item view. And now inside this class we need to create our method for our all this required field. So private void set type and as a parameter we need to pass a string type and now we need to add our text view is equal to m type is equal to m view dot find view by id r dot id dot type text income and this m type dot set text is going to be type. And now private void set note and this node is going to be string note and now in here we need to add text view m note is equal to m view dot find view by id r dot id dot note text income m note dot set text is going to be this note and private void set there is going to be and pass parameter is string date and text view m date is equal to m view dot find view by id r dot id dot date text income so now m date dot set text is going to be this date and make sure that we add the same id name what was the id for and it's income recycler and income recycler and we can see that text income so that's good and now we need to create one more method for our amount 
so we need one more method for our amount when we will retrieve and we also need to uh, convert this amount to string cause we added inside our model class integer so first create a method private void set amount and add not a in string it was integer so integer amount and add text view is going to be m amount is equal to m view dot find view by id r dot id dot amount text income and this m amount and create a string variable so string st amount string dot value of and is going to be our amount so we need to convert our amount to string now this m amount dot set text is going to be st amount so i think now all functionality done and now we need to retrieve our now we need to add our firebase recycle adapter maybe you all know this how can we work with firebase recycle adapter inside our honest method we need to implement our firebase recycle adapter and our model class and our class name and create object adapter and new firebase recycle adapter and as parameter and in here we need to add our model class name second parameter is going to be our layout r dot layout dot income recycler data and third parameter is going to be our our my view holder class not our database name uh, my view holder dot class and last one is going to be our database name so we can see i'm um, income database And now this view holder dot set type method model dot get type this way we will get our type and this view holder dot set not model dot get not and view holder dot set date is going to be model dot get date and view holder dot set amount is going to be model dot get amount and now we need to set this adapter with our recycler view so recycler view dot set adapter is going to be our adapter so i think now all done and now we can run our application so we successfully set all these required field all these required method functionality with our recycler view so now run this application and here we can see our apps now open this income fragment so now we can see our data we can see our date our type our note and our amount for expense no data and income we can see our data now add one more data just add and we can add some dummy text not here we need to add inside our amount input field and in here test and in note we can add any random data now save this note now open this income income fragment and now we can see our data so now we have four data so you can see our date our title our note our amount but we did not set but we did not uh, count all this amount and and now we need to count and we need to sum up all this integer data integer amount and then we need to set this data inside our income text view so how can we do this so i would like to or count all this income how much the income and then we need to set this data inside our income fragment as a total income so for doing this we need to add add value event listener with our m income database then we will be able to see how much data we have so inside our on create inside this uh, inside this main method or what we call in fragment and in here before return my view we need to add our add value event listener so how can we do it so if we want to do this we need to add m income database 
am income database dot add value event listener new value event listener so it will keep us two method one is on data change and one is on cancel so we will we need to work with on data change so inside this on data change method we need to do for each loop so for data snapshot create a class object of data snapshot so data snapshot and we need to call it we can call it my snapshot my snapshot and this one is going to be this data snapshot dot get children so data snapshot dot get children and we don't need to add semicolon here we can add a curly brace or a round bracket closing and opening bracket what we can call so uh, in here we can call and in here we can call we need to create object of our model class so data is going to be data is equal to my snapshot dot get children i think we need to add not get children we need to add get value and inside this value we need to add our model class so add get value and now we need to add our data class so data dot class not get we need to add data dot class so data dot class and now we need to count all this all this integer value from this model class so for doing this we need to create an integer variable and inside this integer variable we need to count one by one so we need to do this for is for loop for is data item that is uh, inside our m income database so we can now we can call it integer total value and it is it will start from zero and then we will count all this our amount one by one so total value is going to be zero and this total value is equal to so now this total value plus is equal to this object of our modeling class so data dot get amount and this way we will we will count all this amount from our database one by one and store it inside our total value integer variable okay maybe you understand this now we need to convert this value to a string so a string you can call it st total value is equal to string dot value of and we can call it total value so we said so we convert our data and now we need to set this data with our text view but we did not add this text view so now we need to define our text view we can call it text view result or text view and 
create object so private you can call it text view private text view is going to be income text and in, inside this income text we need to set our total amount so i think instead of text we can call it income total that will be more meaningful so you can call it income total sum and now open this and what was the id make sure that we added the id name and we need to open our income fragment not data so open income fragment so fragment expense and this one is fragment income so open this fragment income and our id name was uh, we need to open our second relative layout and this second relative layout and our id is an id is income text result okay so copy this one So now income total sum So now income total sum is equal to M income database First at my view dot find view by ID R dot id dot and our text view id name and now we need to set this total sum with inside our text view so income total sum dot set value dot set text not set value and is going to be st total value so i think all functionality done for our income fragment now we can run our application so here is our income fragment and now we can see our total summation of now perfect now it's working so we successfully so we successfully did all the summation of our four input field for in, in the four recycler data that we added to our firebase database and we retrieve it and we save this and set it to text view so we successfully complete this okay for example let's create one more amount and we can call it 8000 or add more and add few dummy text random text just for example and save and open this dash income fragment and now we can see total summation and we, we also retype our data so that's it for this part